Hey there guys and welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and this is episode 180. I haven't moved since the end of the last recording. We're still in the pay start at this spooky ass house and I've totally forgot but if you look to the left that's a seat of torture. Leg clamps, hand clamps, is that electric chair? Or a giant? I mean, that's a big old chair. I'm glad it's daytime. Let's have a wee... Let's be adventurous. Let's have a closer look if we can. This is where this... truck disappears into the ether or something. Whoop. Let's try and get the camera close. Oop, no, that's not working. I do want to get a closer look though. Look at that. That's nasty. Who lives in a house like this? Anyway, okay, enough of that. Let's get out of here. Now, task-wise, then as we're this area of the map and we've got a crane, I found this task, but it's not a task, it's a contract. Deliver to the pier. There's medium planks and long planks. So I'm thinking perhaps we could just do that while we're here. It's not far away. I'll show you the map. So this is the spooky house way up in this corner here. And we're going to go to the warehouse. We can pick up medium planks where there's four there and we only want two of them and I'm hopefully going to double stack them using the crane so we're going to pop along this little route hopefully and then we'll come back probably we'll probably go down the hill where we've found a good way up towards this log carrier rear and then we'll head where are we dropping off? down at the pier so maybe I will come back along so it'll be something like something like that and then I'll cross back over it's just it's easier to cross here you don't have to worry about the big strong currents over there I'll get to there and then it's down to here so that's the route roughly we're going to be take I actually still have I I can't remember if I left the um, the truck, the warp is, or the Atkin, out and about. I'm, what did I do? I've been so busy lately. Oh no, I did. I left them there. So that's quite handy. Maybe we'll look to do a wee top up of fuel. Uh, he's actually going to be no use. Not where he currently is. Okay, let's carry on and see how far we get with just under 200 litres. Narrow. Oh dear. Can we get through here? Maybe use a bit of a wind. Oh, that's not working. Try that one. Pull the nose around a bit. That works. was a nice, fairly easy start. And seeing as it was so close, it would have been rude to do anything else. We head off. Let's have a look anyway. A medium. One there, and one on the loading platform. out, crane up. Might 
need to swing this round, drop it down a bit. Put it on the back of this prop. <laughs> Run round you go. Okay, I didn't expect it to drop into the bed there. Come on, out you come. There we go. On here, that's not even on that. Got it down? Looks like it could be, yeah. Okay, not ideal, I will admit that. Oh no, let's do it this way. Right, I'll we'll, we'll, we'll try that. It might not work. It might fall off. We are going through some narrow woods. So where's it that we drop down? It is there. Oh, is it there? I can't remember. I can't remember. We get through there at all? It looks a bit dodgy. Oopsie. But I need to put a winch onto this for sure. No way up there. Not bad, that's not bad. Wish you could let out the winch. Can't. Okay, we're good. This thing's got a good, fairly low centre of gravity. Oh, I'm getting lagged here. I'm now thinking that wasn't the right area, but we got through, kind of. What's... Oh, there's a wee tree just this side. There we go. We push our way through these furs. Before we can, but... Come on. There we go. Where's the bottom? Where's the ground? Over there? And we're down. That was definitely not the same route. However, we're down. All that matters. And we'll head towards the garage and we'll bring out a fuel truck. Probably bring out, actually we could bring out the, a maintenance trailer and repair and refuel.
And we've still got long planks to get. I think we can get the long planks here. Yeah, we can get the long planks from the sawmill. So that should be fairly easy. And we'll probably end up having to use the the other twin steer for that. It seems to be almost perfect for that, being a, a four slot load bed. Just leave all wheel drive on since we're not worried about fuel at this stage. It is good, it's purely the fuel range, and we had a little bit of misfortune tipping over in that fast flowing river. And I think we'll just turn around first of all. maintenance trail. There we go. Buy that. Fail to attach you to insufficient space. Really? Okay, what about the other fuel carrier? There it is. Oh, okay. Won't let me buy it because the trail, the load bed's pushed back interesting I didn't think it was going to cause that much of a problem okay engine off let's bring out a truck we could use anything really that'll do that's got loads of um oh no it won't can't no it might do it might do I don't think it had enough fuel but it's got it's 160 Here first. So from the roof rack to this. Yeah. All good. That was nice and easy. Now let's do the fuel. Roof rack to this. Okay, it's not quite full, but that's no problem because we're going to go past the fuel station anyway, possibly, maybe. Let's put the engine off of that guy. And, oh no. Stop engine, change truck, that's what I was wanting to do. We're going to head up to the sawmill and just take my usual route down towards the pier. Definitely one of the easier contracts since we've got this sawmill open.
the next. I think uh, it's coming evening, yeah, possibly. I was going to go for fuel. We'll get fuel on the way back if we need it. I'll play ditch this pay star at the near the drop off point and jump back to the garage for the um, international west star, western star. I can't remember what the other twin steer is called. with this flowing water it's got not nearly the same force as that other river the bits we get damaged somewhere along this road. Stick to the right, I think it's just at that point there you get damaged. Oh! There we go. Guess it's any part of that road. Yeah, we've got a trailer we dumped there, haven't we? We get that back and sold. No, oh, on down. Let's get this one reattached. think it would work. All right, drop in. Close enough. the train and get rid of it cool get this guy out of the way long planks yes yeah, pick him out onto the main road leave this guy here and it's back to the guys let's get rid of all those waypoints that I have not used gonna work oh why is it not working why is it not working there it goes 
Weird. Is the truck here now, though? There is. The Western Star. Oh, let's get it down to um, an afternoon start. Now you'd think this would be nice and easy, but I've thought that before and it's not worked out that way. I was just thinking back to that house that we were at with the torture chair and the red balloons. Does anybody know the significance behind that? Is there a story that we haven't come across? Maybe something to do with the devs? If you know, please leave a comment or a link to what that signifies, or is it just meant to be somebody's sense of mischief putting a, a haunted house up there? What am I going? I want to reverse down there. I was almost setting off on that route without even picking up the planks. Long planks, not on the loading platform because I ain't got a train. Again, I'll, I would normally just edit this bit out, you've seen it before, but to complete this one task, contract as it is, I'll keep you with me. And that should make for a fairly start to, whoop, start to finish episode. instead. I don't know if there's any particularly deep parts of this flooded area. Because that's not particularly deep. Okay, that's the deepest point, so maybe that's deemed as the original part of the river. So no problem for us. Right, let's get some more damage by this little pure thing. Oh, maybe it, maybe it despawned when I hit it.
we're definitely going to come winging around that corner and crash into that trailer that's badly parked. Job done. Happy with that. Thanks, here is your reward. So it wasn't massive, nice and easy. Up in the mountains where I think we're down to the last two. Put the engine off quickly. Let's have a look. We've got that's the one we've just done. We've got up in the mountains, which has got a lot of planks and logs through in yellow rock. And the other one. So one part's in yellow rock and two are in this. Where's the riverside house? So that's the back of the garage and waterfall house. Oh, it's up there again. Ah. He's not happy with just having his Dawn 71 returned. He wants planks and short logs now. And the other one, base in the woods, is in yellow rock. And it's taken us through this gate. Let's have a quick look. Base in the woods is, oh, is way over here. Hmm. And if we come through that gateway, it's going to bring us out in this one. Well, I've got my can loaf over there. I forgot about him. I need to get him home. You'd probably be better going through this gateway and cutting across. Okay. Shall we, shall we do that one? You got an opinion? Leave a comment, guys. Leave a comment. I'll set it as, a, as the one that we're currently going to do. So delivery through the plateau. Is everything else, as we showed in the last episode, is already done. So we're, we're getting towards the end of the main contracts. As in, main the place, as it says up here. Not main, as in without the E. And what are the tasks for this map? Tower, tower. Oh yeah, so that's that one down there, and it needs metal beams. So maybe at some point we'll do that too. There's loads of other little contracts that are showing up. So, there is still lots to do. Yeah, lots to do. Eek. Okay, but guys, if you enjoyed that little task, that little um, delivery, then leave me a wee thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe and notif uh, hit the notification bell if you haven't done so already. That way you will know when I put them out. Generally, it will be midnight at UK time, GMT, or BST as it is now. But it's summertime. Where's our truck? Where am I at? Uh, I'm in this one. There we go. Wide load. Or I said long load, not wide. Oh, he's sleeping. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. See you again soon. Bye for now.